very pleasant good afternoon and welcome to our noonday prayer, the start of a brand new work week. And I know in Belize and other places today is a holiday, so pray that you will be safe, you know, if you're traveling. And as we prepare for our devotion, let us observe a moment of silent prayer. Christ came and preached peace to you who were far off and peace to those who were near. For through him we both have access in one spirit to the Father. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Our reading today comes from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 11, beginning to read at verse 42. Jesus said, Woe to you, Pharisees, for you tied mint and rue and herbs of all kinds, and neglect justice and the love of God. It is these you ought to have practiced, without neglecting the others. Woe to you, Pharisees, for you love to have the seat of honor in the synagogues and to be greeted with respect in the marketplaces. Woe to you, for you are like unmarked graves and people walk over them without realizing it. One of the lawyers answered him, Teacher, when you say these things, you insult us too. And he said, Woe also to you, lawyers, for you load people with burdens hard to bear, and you yourselves do not lift a finger to ease them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus said, For you load people with burdens hard to bear, and you yourselves do not lift a finger to ease them. Here again is an admonition of Jesus to take our practice of the faith beyond the peripheral to something more profound, more substantial. Today's passage is part of a series of sayings by Jesus touching on this very subject. There is no doubt that part of the message of Jesus calls on us to live authentic lives devoid of the need for pretense or self-aggrandizement. Throughout his ministry, Jesus regularly called on his listeners to engage in the oftentimes difficult task of self-evaluation and introspection to better respond to the needs of others. Such an approach, advises Jesus, will enable us to avoid the otherwise tendency to become self-righteous and judgmental. We instead can attain to a level of discipline that will make our witness to the gospel more effective and impactful. Together then, my sisters and brothers, let us work to make the world a better place by becoming better persons ourselves. With the help of God. Amen. Our Father in heaven, Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have have mercy. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Lord, we pray that your grace may always proceed and follow us, that we may continually be given to good works through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, 
now and forever. Amen. Creator God, we ask for your protection and preservation during this hurricane season. We pray you to calm the wind and the waves of the sea and spare those who may be in the path of any storm or disaster. Help them always to reach safety. Open our hearts in generosity to all who may need our help. In all things and in all times, help us to remember that even when life seems dark and stormy, you are in the boat with us, guiding us to safety. Amen. My sisters and brothers, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now may the Lord bless us and keep us. May the Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon us and grant us his peace. And the peace of God which passes all understanding, keep our hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with us this day and remain with us always. Amen. Enjoy your holiday, but also have a blessed, safe, and productive week. Amen.